Howdy, 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 my darling Scorpio. How are you doing, honey? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for March 2022. All right, honey? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, darling? So be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Scorpio, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, honey. And then, yeah, let's just jump right into this, Scorpio. Let's see what it is that y'all are currently dealing with. What is the tea? What is the gossip? What is the drama dealing of it all? Let's see here. Eight of Cups coming in here. Oh, my Scorpios are walking away from a situation. You're emotionally detaching uh, here, uh, Scorpio. Um, ooh, I don't feel like this was an easy decision for you here, though. You had to emotionally detach. This has been a long building process for you, though. I feel like this is like a karmic thing for you, Scorpio, I feel like, right? This is like a hard decision to make, but you know, for your character development, you know, be able to, for you to be able to continue on in the next phases of your life, you have to walk away from this situation here. You also have here the Two of Wands because your long-term plans have changed, Scorpio. Are some of you guys like disconnecting from a current connection here that you've had in your life for a long time? Or some of you guys having some thoughts about leaving a, a long-standing job? Some of you guys might be thinking about changing career paths as well. Or like, I feel like it's like a great dr drastic life change for you guys. Like y'all are really going into this new fool's journey, I feel. Because I'm being shown the fool. Even though we haven't pulled the fool uh, for you, Scorpio, I feel like y'all are really about to be stepping into a fool's journey here. All right, and then let's get into your third card here, Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, because something in your uh, home life here, something in regards to your finances here, Two of Cups as well in the back of the deck here. Yeah, this lets me know, Scorpio, of where your heart, oh man, oh man, like this is like a very hard decision for you to be making because you felt so emotionally attached to this situation here logistically i hear as well um this connection was providing value to you maybe you're running a business with somebody uh scorpio or you're trying to or maybe this is like a family situation where you're living with them here i feel like you're having to like or are really in this process of emotionally disconnecting from it and you know getting your ducks in a row planning for your long-term future with that two of wands here uh scorpio where you're just like all right like how am i going to like where where does where does life take me after this right that's your question where does life take you after this where do you go from here how do you continue manifesting for yourself when this isn't going to be part of your story anymore two of cups energy that ten of pentacles it's like yeah y'all realize that something just isn't good for you anymore you realize that something just has reached its point of completion here and it's very bittersweet that's what i feel uh scorpio is very bittersweet where you're just like if things could have been different um it would have been able to be beautiful but unfortunately life is the way it is right now and so it's like this is where you book it right and then you have the hanged man because you're seeing something differently here. Now, I don't know if they did something here, if this is about a person. I don't know what changed in the environment or maybe it's just yourself here, Scorpio. Maybe you yourself have evolved and just changed and just like what once dro drove, uh, gave you a lot of passion and drive no longer is uh, giving that to you anymore here. And I feel like y'all are really going through a drastic change. Didn't I even say earlier, Scorpio, where it's like y'all are having a complete 180 or I think I just said the fool. Um, actually queen of swords you're having to be putting up boundaries uh with the situation here that's the thing whatever the case is for you scorpio you're coming off as heartless even though that's not your intention at all scorpio and, and i don't think you're heartless at all either scorpio i feel as if i feel like scorpios are really misunderstood scorpios are always like painted out to be like this like cutthroat like savagery here where scorpios only think about themselves and I don't think that's, I mean, you, the thing about a Scorpio is like a Scorpio is not going to be extremely self-sacrificing. You will be very self-sacrificing with people and things that you open up to, which takes a lot for you to get to that point. Right. But like for most of the time, you're not self-sacrificing or in the sense of like, you'll be self-sacrificing, but you know, at a certain point in time, like that's not going to be you forever. And so I feel like for you, Scorpio, you realize that something just isn't good for you anymore. And like, you no long, like the sense of obligation that you have towards this is no longer enough to you for you to stay because now queen of pentacles here it just isn't good for you financially may not be good for you anymore i don't know if it's not paying enough for you anymore uh scorpio for some of you guys i don't know if you see yourself being able to do this for long term right maybe you're trying to commit to this job or really i feel like it is about some person here it's like you were trying to give the sense of commitment to this but you're just like 
you think far out into the future and it's just like you can't see yourself continuously doing this for too much longer here so you're just like well like i gotta go into a new place here you you know it's ten of wands and yeah this is just very like sobering energy here scorpio very sobering energy here you didn't want to have to walk away from this you didn't want to you don't like having these thoughts of where it's just like this next portion of your life go is continues on without the situation here because it's been part of your life for so long it's been been providing for you right it's been your uh pillar for some reason i don't even feel comfortable saying scorpio that this has been in your comfort zone because i don't feel like you've been comfortable with this for quite some time here I feel like you've just been part of this just because of a sense of obligation here. But you realize that now at this point in time, Scorpio, that you have to be that queen of swords and be like, hey, I got to you got to put yourself first, honey. It makes me think of this TikTok sound where it talks about being like, I got to put myself first. I got to put myself first, Lucius. That's what I think it is. You'll know what I'm talking about, honey, if you go on TikTok. But it's like, I got to put me first. I got to put me first, Lucius. Right. And then you have these two tens coming in here. Um, tens representing closures to cycles and notice I'm not seeing too much pain like I'm not seeing pain here right I don't see anything like uh, like aggressive like we're not getting a five of wands or three swords I mean yeah totally it could be proven wrong here in a moment but um it just feels like this is just isn't good for you right queen of wands this is where you no, the third queen coming in here this is where you go out into your own here leaving the nest here so I get for so many of you guys like whatever this is it's like Whatever it is that you're walking away from, it's like that sense of security that you had before, that financial security. You were living with the situation here. Like there was something here that was just providing some sense of value to you uh, here. And it could just be a, like as like an emotional security here. I don't know. But it's like I feel like there's just more connected to this. Like it literally is just like really hard for you to do a justice energy here but you realize six of pentacles Ooh, you got both of the scales cards that would be identified with libra here right you realize like you need to put you realize you have to uh move on from this situation here because it's like turning into a bad investment of your own personal energy you're realizing things are just out of balance for you personally here scorpio and you're just like man like i love you honey but it just is like it's putting so much out of balance in your life here it's like you can't continue at this job anymore because you, like the amount of energy and work that you're putting into the situation the pay just isn't there anymore or it's just like the amount of money that you make from it is just like not worth everything and the stress and the dramas or whatever or even just the pay that you get from the situation here like before you could be self-sacrificing towards this because you needed it i feel or because like you just needed to have like this like maybe you're betting on this and hoping that these investments were paying would pay off better or like you're hoping that these eight cups would actually turn into 10 cups for you in this situation here but i feel like the sense of obligation because you just have been too self-sacrificing for way too long you realize that you have to separate yourself from it because otherwise you're going to be continuously stuck in this cycle here um scorpio i don't know if there's like an Aquarius involved here um I'm getting all the signs here right so I'm not going to be especially when it comes to general readings I'm never going to specify one specific zodiac sign here and then yeah nine of pentacles coming in here the, I'm getting so much financial here um so much financial and just stability it feels like you you are craving more stability in your life and you at this point in time are willing to take the risk of leaving what has been stable I use the stable very loosely here um to go after something else because you're just like oh, this is a sinking ship and you don't even like acknowledging that this is a sinking ship because you really like you <laughs> i was you really wanted this titanic to be fabulous but you know that it's like a sinking ship honey you're just like all right i gotta i gotta put me first i feel like that's where the situation is for you scorpio so you know don't be so hard on yourself is what i get uh scorpio as a message don't be so hard on yourself you know that like it's a hard decision to make and like again like i know if things were different for you um you would still stick to buy this because scorpio is so loyal to a fault honey but you got to put yourself first here scorpio okay honey so where are you what are you manifesting honey right we got that queen of wands for you where is your energy where is your path where is your destiny taking you now where is the energy uh, gaining momentum for you scorpio let's take a look here honey one more bridge shuffle here scorpio <clears throat> all right 
So we have the Page of Cups. You guys are going to be meeting new people. New opportunities are going to be coming forward towards you guys. So I don't feel like you're going to be in this period of that Eight of Cups, like going off into a new situation for too long. I don't feel like you guys are going to be feeling as if you're stuck in limbo for too long here. Uh, we also have the Three of Swords. You are going to be licking your wounds for a while. Like I want to be telling you, Scorpios, like uh, give yourself the grace in the healing process. Don't try to fast pace it. Three of Cups energy. You might even feel some slight guilt by moving on from this situation by jumping ships and like finding a situation that is a lot more profitable and just has you feeling good here because i get like the sense of like internal guilt where it's like you finally find your start finding your tribe and being around good people and finally having some victories in your life with that three of cups energy here that you start feeling guilt for what it is that you left in the past and you're just like this sense of i don't know i feel like this sense of guilt that you'll be experiencing where it's just like i shouldn't be this happy because you know what's happened i mean honey we all know what happened in the titanic honey and if i get a comment in the comments right now where it's just like oh too soon valka girl was a whole damn movie made off of it so i don't want to like girl and i know you weren't involved in the titanic so if you try to make yourself personally offended by it girl <laughs> <laughs> all right let's continue on here but just don't feel guilty scorpio and you'll be i feel like this will be healing for you you'll get the you'll get the affirmation very quickly that this is the right choice for you but it's almost like how quickly this happens for you that you get that guilt two of pentacles here yeah like don't be juggling like once you come into this new path scorpio don't be feeling guilty about it all right just take these new things like you really need to it's gonna be really hard but you need to really put what it is that you're leaving in the past and leave it there because you really will be reminiscing about it here six of cups energy coming in here I get this message as well, where something that you ended up having to leave um, in the past due to what you were committed to prior will be coming back in for many of you guys. Six of Cups energy under that Page of Cups energy. The Page of Cups represents new people coming in. Six of Cups energy talks about something from the past and also receiving an offer, Scorpio. So be anticipating stuff that you had to leave in the past beforehand due to your prior obligations will be coming back in for the stuff that, has, that was meant for you here. All right. And then Ace of Swords energy here. I feel like you guys are going to be really motivated. Um, Eight of Wands as well. Really motivated and moving here. It's almost as if like, yeah, a lot of you Scorpios, y'all have a drastic move uh, movement coming in uh, for you guys. And then one last one here. <clears throat> We have the queen of cups you just got all the queens scorpio in your reading you got all the queens honey yeah so scorpio the fact of the matter is you guys are feeling so obligated towards this past energy just because it's really to a fault darling and then once you finally let this situation go and start uh opening up to new energies here you're going to quickly replace this old energy and having a lot of good things start coming forward towards you good people around you opportunities start lining up for you as well and it's like this sense of where you're you're like looking out like i'm being shown like a scenario scorpio where you're looking at the plane window and you're just like man is this the right choice like you start feeling guilty for like all the good things in your life darling and it's just like don't feel guilty we all have our own past that we have to live honey and whatever it is that you're leaving here darling it's it is what it is all right so let's get one moon oracle card here for you scorpio before we wrap up your tarot reading this week here honey all right and let's do this one here <laughs> Scorpio, holy crap, darling. What card did we just get here? South no, don't let your past hold you back. Girl, I love it when I'm good at my job, honey. I love it when I'm good at my job here. I'm going to allow myself to have a big head. This hat's not going to fit anymore with how big of a head I am. I have going on. I love it when my intuition's right on track, honey. All right, don't let your past hold you back. Allow this reading to be, especially that card, to be the affirmation of just let it go, darling. Let it go. I love you so much, Scorpio. Trust that this is the best thing that you need to be doing for yourself. Don't feel guilty, all right? Don't feel guilty. You having to put yourself as first does not make you a bad person, all right? It just makes you human. And someone has to take make sure that you're taking care of, darling, because no one else will at the end of the day. So I love you so much, Scorpio. If you enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe. Remember, Scorpio, if you want to book a private to personal reading with me, my website's linked down below, Simply Velka dot com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram both being simply velka there's so many fake accounts of me right now on everywhere scorpio be sure that uh remember that i only do business through my website honey i will never reach out to you privately for a reading all right darling so love you so much scorpio and i'll connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling